Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, I've got a question that is coming from a sequence and series, specifically under arithmetic progression. The question reads, find the next three terms of the sequence. So this is an AP, like I've said, it's an arithmetic progression sequence. R plus 16, R plus 9, and R plus 2. So the question is, they want us to find the next three terms. Okay? So, step one, let us write the sequence that we have. This is our sequence. Okay? So, it means they want us to find this term, again this term, and this term. One, two, three. These are the three terms that they want us to find. Now, in order for us to find these terms, we are going first to identify this is term 1, this is term 2, and this is term 3. Okay? So we know that when we are finding the common difference under the arithmetic progression, we normally say common difference is equal to term 2 minus term 1, or we can say term 3 minus term 2. Okay? So we are going to use the same principle. This is D, meaning common difference is equal to so this is uh d is equal to term 2 minus term 1 so from here uh we can say d is equal to now my term 2 right here is a 9 plus r plus 9 minus term 1 is this one right here r plus 16 okay so upon writing this we have enclosed this in brackets because it's going to be affected by this negative okay so we can now open the brackets by multiplying with uh, this negative, d equal to r plus 9. So negative times r, negative r, negative times positive 6. This will give us negative 16. So from here, we can collect the right terms, of which r and negative r are the right terms. Positive 9 and 16, negative 16 are the like terms. So d equal to r. The like term is the negative, so just write negative. R and then plus 9 minus 16. So this and this will cancel because R minus R is a 0. D is equal to 9 minus 16. This will give us a negative what? 7. So this is our common difference. So because this is an AP, this is an AP. So to find the next term in an arithmetic progression, we just add, okay? We add where we say the common difference this that we have found with the, the previous term then we find the next term so to find remember this is going to be our term 4 term 5 and term 6 so to find our term 4 we are going to do this to find our term 4 we are going to get this is our term 3 which is it so get term 3 then plus d which is the common difference so we say term 4 equal to term 3 it's r plus 2 this one right here then plus open bracket our d is a negative 7 i'll put it in brackets so term 4 equal to r plus 2 positive times negative negative 7 so term 4 equal to r positive 2 minus 7 okay this will give us a negative 5. So this is our term 4. So the same idea, okay, to find the term 5. Same idea, you say, term 5 equal to, so here we get term 4. Term 4 plus D. This is the principle we use when finding terms under arithmetic progression. So term 5 equal to, term 4 is this one which is r minus 5 plus d, the common difference. This is a negative 7, like this, okay? So from here, we are going to say term 5 equal to r minus 5, positive times negative 7, give us negative 7, then term 5 equal to r negative 5 minus 7. This would be negative 12. So our term 5 was a negative 12. Okay? 
So I believe we can use this space right here to find term 6 equal to. So we get the preceding term, which is term 5. So term 5 plus the common difference. So term 6 is equal to, our term 5 is right here, R minus 12. Then plus the common difference right there, a negative 7 in brackets. So we're going to have term 6 is equal to R minus 12, positive times negative, it's a negative 7. So from here, we say term 6 is equal to R, then negative 12 minus 12, okay? It will give us negative 19. So this is our term 6. So we can now make a statement. We can say, therefore, therefore, the next three terms are, so our term 5, our term 4 is right here, which is R minus 5, R minus 5, comma, term 5 is this one, R minus 12, and our term 6, R minus 19, R minus 19. So this is our answer, okay? So, if you are able to see it, and, okay, let me just write it here, R minus 19. Okay, so, uh, I've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. Bye-bye.